Hello world, PDR coming at you here. Let me turn my hat around for you. Uh, with a sharp dent on a BMW 3 Series, 5 Series, 3 Series, and um, it's got a high brow. It had a little scuff in it. I just hit it with the perfect kit and got the little scuff out of there. Let me show you. Uh, now I could tighten up the snake arm on my board a little bit because I just re replaced it today. Thanks to James of the Limited, by the way. It's got a high brow if you see it through the top, and then that sharpie sharp. Well, we're getting her warm. Let's see how warm it is now. 108. About 108 right now. You want to get it super hot, and it kind of burns my hand to hold my hand right here. I can always turn it to the lower setting. Maybe not burn my hand so much, but I wanted to bring you guys in and say, uh, Thanks everybody for clicking on the video, but I uh, wanted to bring you guys in for the beginning part here, which is getting this brow out before I even go to push on that body line. Ouch, it's really hot with that heater. So let me just uh, say, excuse the background noise. We are out in nature. Uh, in the Pacific Northwest where it's kind of rainy all the time. Basically, where, where these lines are bow tying, guys, I am just not even tapping it with the hammer. I'm just letting this hammer drop with the weight of about, I'd say, maybe half a pound. Because we're on a real sensitive area, I gotta keep it warm. Gotta take my time with this brow first before I do anything. And you know what? This might be a perfect time to break out that uh, new tip that Wifey got me. And I just did a video on because it's just so forgiving and directed. I know right where I'm hitting with it and it's got a lot, I don't know, more forgiving of a push, a tap. So right where it bow ties is, right where I'm just hitting it the most. Let me see, give you a better angle on that. I am fully ambidextrous when it comes to dance, guys. I can push and turn and use my tools with either hand. Um, in life, I'm, I guess I'm primarily left-handed, but when it comes to dance, you gotta, anybody that's learning the craft has to be able to switch that hammer around and make the same caps. And I always feel more comfortable with my left hand, but sometimes you just can't use it. Sometimes you're, hanging off the bed of a truck and you gotta hold yourself off the ground. So, at this point in the video is when I will properly say I really do appreciate everybody that clicked on this video, I really do. Sorry about the background noise and that we don't have the microphone in today. Ouch, burning my hand. Let's give it a couple of real good taps while it's hot. Just breaking that brow down because if I go to push this thing out and leave that brow up, there we go, there's some mother nature for you, then it's just gonna make this tighter. So what we wanna do, flush this out real nice, get it back to warm again. And if you notice, I have number one stuck in there hanging. I just kinda snuck it up underneath the uh, liner yeah, that's starting to move a little bit. So let me come down here and see what we're looking like. Obviously, I don't want to make any severe pushes, but I'm just uh, finding my tool in the center of that dent. Just kind of, and now I missed, see it. The tough part about this is it's right on the edge of the liner. So the liner comes down and stops right there on this edge. So I basically could sneak my tool right up underneath the liner and find it. But the best way to do it is to go like this. You heard that click? That's the tip of my tool finding the back edge of this plastic, crank it around, and then move it up like I know I'm in there now. And I only have one shot because once it moves past that liner, I got to do that again. And it's not 
super annoying, but definitely. Okay, guys, let's see how hot it is. 138, that's right where we want to be. I'm actually going to turn it to lower. Ah, got to do it. Got to come around, my thing. Come up here, come back. There we go. Doing a little delicate surgery here now. We're gonna down. Yeah, there is some kind of a. I want to see what it is, actually. Yeah, it's just a spray. It's a spray. Uh, I don't know if it's a spray or an actual Dynamat, but it's the same thing as Dynamat. Uh, sound dampening material, which is nice that the car has it because it keeps it super quiet on the interior, but it's kind of a nightmare for a dent guy because I'm, I can only make one push and then I got to move it out of the glue and then make another push and then go right back into it. Um, this is one of those ones that goes to show you that I thought it might just be a five minute vent and everything you think might be super easy it might take a little bit more time and effort but patience is the ultimate key to paintless dent repair if you see what I'm doing right now we're, we're going for the magic now that I'm starting to move it, I'm going to get up. I might not even be able to get right into that center of that body line. I mean, I can, but I certainly don't want to crack any paint. So I'm going to take it as far as I can get it without having to make it look messed up. It's windy out. It's cold and rainy now. So uh, I'm going to go into Zen mode right here. time when I have to sit back and look at it from a different angle now. See that top brow is still slightly there. The bottom brow, if you look hard enough, would be along this, uh, right about here. Not really even noticeable, even in my board. Get one. Get my tip off. But we'll get that out, and then we'll come up top here. I sure do appreciate everybody sticking with me through this long... Uh, I don't know, I know we hit the five minute mark a couple of seconds ago, so... This is one of those ones, guys, that I'm gonna have to uh, definitely spend some time off, of, off camera. But I wanted to get the majority, the meat, and if you say, well, I want to stick around and watch how uh, how you get this last little bit out, maybe we'll come back in on a clip when I'm ready to uh, tackle this last little edge. And the reason why I'm not doing it yet is because it still has these brows. And I basically have to work the brows down before I work that body line out. And that's the time and finesse of finish work midway through a dent. So at this point it'd be like watching grass grow so i tell you what we'll come back to you in just a bit and i'll show you what we got there's another little dent right here that we're going to do but if we look at this one through the board we've got that top brow out give it a nice look and there is a little divot in the center there that this is one of those ones that's like knowing when to call it um there's that other one we're going to work on but yeah, I didn't want to bring all the way out and actually have that paint fracture and go backwards. So basically right there on that body line, um, it's, I'd say it got out to the 90% mark of being flat. Um, and the noticeability of what we have left is going to be less than if we cracked the paint and had a little 
paint fracture there where the water would get in and it would start flaking off and it wouldn't look right at all. No touch up paint needed here. Uh, I think if there's a little high, it's a tiny little high. I even see it better without the board on it. Right about there, I might make a tap or two. Um, and then we'll come back in the next video. We'll make, make this dent go away. So I sure appreciate everybody sticking with me through this one. This was kind of a, a toughie. And um, we definitely took our time and did it as well as possible. Um, like I say, it's, I got a little tap I'm gonna make right there. I don't think I'm gonna make it on camera, but we got the top edge out, the bottom edge out, and we left a little tiny divot right in the middle. Um, if you guys liked the video, show me you liked it by hitting that like button. Um, if you wanna subscribe and hit that notification, you'll be notified every time I uh, make a new video. Other than that, this has been PDR and I'm out, peace.